Welcome to the final installment of hand lettering methods. Here we go for part three. This offers the most mm, uniqueness of all the three methods, um, but it's also only semi-scalable because we're using raster-based brushes. So as you know, there's a vector brush option where you can create your own brushes in Affinity Designer, but they are basically PNG files that are stretched or repeated over the length of a path. And so when they scale up, they are have a rasterized edge. Um, but as long as you're using them small or um, at the size you designed the, the brush at, you, uh, it's, it's not a big deal. So here I, uh, this is a stretched stroke and it just creates some fun variability, maybe a cloud brush, um, depending on what your needs are for your project. Again, why you would choose which of these three methods is based on what your needs for your project are. Do you want a precision that you, from a design you've created? Or do you want to be able to kind of experiment and play around? Or do you want to have a special unique character like this brush? I created another copy of the brush and uh, this time I made it a repeating brush so that it's not as uh, stretched out. There's more of that round blobby character of the original design. And again, with, with all these strokes um, and, and options, you can use the quick effects to add three dimensionality, bevel and emboss, drop shadow, inner glow, all those different features. So once you've got the um, letters created, you can adjust them. They're all adjustable in that way. You can also add the styles. Um, brush strokes can be styles. And so just by uh, selecting an object that has a style applied to it or a stroke applied to it and then um, using the style menu, add from selection. Let me just show you what happens when you zoom in on these PNG uh, brushes. So I'm going to zoom on at this top edge here and you can just see the, the anti-aliasing kind of pixelation there that shows that it is not a vector graphic. So not a big deal, but just got to keep that in mind. So here we go, drawing these paths. And um, the great thing about custom brushes is, again, you can try out all kinds of brushes. Here's like a leaf pattern I created. Um, and you can then rasterize the brush and then fill it in in the, in the uh, pixel persona. Um, and you can overlay multiple brushes by going to your appearance palette and adding another stroke and then applying a new brush to that same stroke. So in the brushes palette, I'm gonna apply this leaf brush and then I'll sh shrink down the point size just so you can see the um, bottom brush as well. I have other tutorials on this channel um, detailing how to create these custom brushes. So if you need more information, check one of those out. Hope you learned something from these three different methods for lettering and I hope that your lettering ventures are improved because of it. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful and we'll catch you next time.